There are two productivity apps that have completely transformed my productivity and my workflow when I'm running my business. And I'm not exaggerating when I say completely transformed my productivity. So those two apps are Plus AI and Loom. And how they work together, there's this kind of synergy effect, the one plus one equals three effect, where I will create a presentation or a deck using Plus.ai, and then I would film a Loom on the presentation slide, and that process takes about five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe. And with this two-step process, I can create VSLs in minutes. I can delegate tasks to employees instead of writing paragraphs of describing how to do a certain task. I just film a super quick loom, but it doesn't just save me time. It also earns the business a lot more revenue than last year when I wasn't using this system. Because when I'm replying to an email from a prospect, instead of just typing out a reply, I can really quickly within minutes create a presentation deck and then film a loom which is basically just a screen recording of the video with my face in the bottom left and it's a lot more personalized and the conversion rate in closing sales compared with just sending a standard email is significantly higher. So in this video I'm going to show you the exact system that I use using those two software. I'll show you another example of how I use looms and pitch decks. So if I go to one of my courses, the first thing you'll see is a VSL, a video sales letter. It's just literally just a loom of me going over a presentation deck. And it took me maybe 20 minutes to film. So if I want to update the VSL, I can very easily within 20 minutes film a new VSL, put it up on the landing page and very, very efficient way of creating VSLs. So this is Google Slides. I'll show you how to use Plus AI. It's very very simple. First you go to Plus AI Presentation Maker and you just log in, you can get a free trial and download it. So I go to Google Slides, I go to Extension, Plus AI for Google Slides and New Presentation with Plus AI. And there's three different ways that I can use AI to kind of kickstart my presentation. And I think this is really important because there's been so many times where I've been procrastinating on creating a presentation because traditionally creating a presentation deck takes a while, it takes a long time. But with this, I can create a prompt, I can upload a file, or I can create the presentation deck slide by slide. So I can use a prompt, so I basically just type in a few sentences, or preferably the more information I give it, the better presentation deck it will create. I can upload a file, so this could be a PDF file, it could be a Microsoft Word doc, it could even be a PowerPoint presentation deck, or I can just create it half manually, half bit by AI using the slide by slide feature. But for this, I'm gonna use a prompt. But firstly, I'm going to choose a template. So I can use a template here. And if you just click on them, you can kind of get an idea of what the template is going to be like. And for me personally, I like the Indigo template. So I'll click use template and use a prompt. So for the prompt, I'll ask it to uh, create a presentation deck for a back to school campaign for sponsors for my YouTube channel, Mike D. And then I want it to be a pitch deck and I can include my custom introduction. So I click here and I've already set this up. I've typed in Mike educates millions of people around the world, basically what I do and who should Plus AI write for slides, write in a professional manner aimed towards brands. And like I say, the more context you give Plus AI, the better presentation it will generate. So I save that. And also I want to give it slightly more information. So I will write who I am and then I'll copy and paste this information because I can't expect AI to know all of this information. I'll also go number of slides six. I don't want there to be too many slides and it will generate a presentation for me. I just have to wait for it a few seconds. So now we've got the outline, Mike D's back to school campaign, introduction to Mike D, the back to school opportunity, campaign value position. I would success, yeah, okay, yeah, like that. Audience and reach, successful past sponsorships and call to action for sponsors. So let's generate slides. And now I wait about 30, 60 seconds for the presentation to actually be created. So these are the nine presentation decks that it has created for me. And straight away, the formatting, the theme is incredible. There's a few things that I do want to change. For example, I want to make it a little bit more personal. So I would change this 
to maybe a picture of me speaking. It just adds a little bit of credibility and shows my face. And like I say, makes the this slide a little bit more personal because I am talking about myself. What I also like is by using AI, I can rewrite the text. For example, all of this text here, let's say I don't like having loads of text in a presentation. So I wanna rewrite the text, but I want to shorten it. I can change it, I can make it more educational, I can make it more ac academic, I can jazz it up, I can Shakespeareify it. But for this, I will just rewrite each line so it's less than, let's say 20 words and rewrite selected text. And that, in my opinion, is a lot better. I also like how when I go to successful past sponsorships, Plus, we'll give you specific tips. For example, with this successful past sponsorship, consider adding specific metrics or quotes from sponsors to enhance credibility. I think that is really important. We've already got some examples here. One thing that I will add is, let me just remove that, the logos of the brands that I've worked with. For example, I will add this image, maybe remove this text and just have this image. I think having the brands there, the actual logos and so many is really quite helpful in terms of just social proof. It gives the company, it gives the brand that I'm reaching out to just that bit more confidence that if all of these other brands have sponsored this channel, then it can't be too bad, right? And that is pretty much the presentation deck. And this literally took me, what, a few minutes? So might these back to school campaign, then I have the agenda, then introduction to me, but then I maybe bring this up this way. Then we've got back to school campaign. I probably move this this way. Campaign value proposition. We've got audience and reach. We've got successful past sponsors and we have call to action for sponsors and we have a thank you. So that's the presentation itself. How I would use this presentation usually is if I'm reaching out to a prospect, then I would create a presentation deck like this in literally less than five minutes. And then I would film a Loom video and walk through this presentation deck in slideshow mode like this with my face in the bottom left or bottom right, kind of like it is right now. And it's a lot more personal. And I filmed a personalized video with my face as a opposed to just a kind of a very generic black and white email that most people send. So this strategy has genuinely made me so much money. So this is Loom and in a nutshell, Loom is basically a screen recorder that records your screen and your face and records your mic at the same time. So as you're talking, you can also narrate on what you're seeing on your desktop, if that makes sense. So this is my Loom right here and I've been using Loom for about a year and a half. And as you can see, I've filmed 636 videos in a year and a half. So that's more than one a day. And the types of Looms that I film, I usually E replies to emails. For example, this video here is a five minute video and I basically go through a script feedback. I'm basically like critiquing the script. And this is a YouTube script feedback video where instead of writing comments to give feedback on this particular script, I just film a quick loom. It takes me literally five minutes. But what's really nice is that the recipient can watch this in 2x speed. So they don't have to spend five minutes watching it. They can literally watch it in two and a half minutes if they watch it in 2x speed. So it saves me time in that I don't have to write out paragraphs and paragraphs, but it also saves them time in that they can watch it in 2x speed. And also they have more clarity in what I'm talking about because they can see what I'm talking about as I talk about it, if that makes sense. I also think unnecessary meetings are so unproductive for businesses, especially if you have, let's say a team of 10, 20 employees and you have a weekly meeting and you're paying each employee per hour. And then you have 20 people in a, one hour meeting every Monday, and let's say you're averaging paying them $20 an hour, then that's 20 times by 10. That's $200 every Monday you're wasting if the meeting is not necessary. And Loom can often decrease the number of meetings that you need because instead of me having to call a meeting, I can just film a quick Loom and the recipient can leave feedback or send a Loom back. No need for a 30 minute call. Loom is also really good if you're talking about sensitive subjects to a either a client or an employee. If you're texting, let's say, 
in Slack or in email, it's very difficult to get the intonation right. And miscommunication is relatively common, especially if you're working with team members that are maybe not native speakers or in other parts of the world that have a different dialect or accents or whatever. It's just easier to communicate sensitive subjects and sensitive topics with Loom when someone can hear your intonation, can see your facial expressions. Loom has also made one of my businesses a lot of money, especially when it comes to closing sales. I'll give you an example. This is an email that I sent a prospect a few months ago. And instead of writing out paragraphs and paragraphs in an email, I film a quick Loom. This particular Loom was 19 minutes long, but the recipient can watch this in nine minutes and 30 seconds. And I basically do a full channel audit because for Playstack, we help businesses grow on YouTube. And so this was a full channel audit. Obviously, to get this amount of information to the recipient, if I was just writing an email, would take a long, long time. So Loom is a very efficient way of communicating. And so I sent over this Loom and sure enough, he joined our mastermind and the Loom worked, the Loom closed the sale. And that's really the power of Loom when it comes to communicating in the sales process and really personalizing the communication to close the sale. So as I mentioned earlier, if you do want to check out Plus, the sponsor of this video, you can click on the link in the description below. And if you like this video, you're going to love this video right here where I talk about how my five Apple device ecosystem work together. Again, it's the synergy effect, the one plus one equals three effect, where my Apple devices work together to make me significantly more productive throughout my workday. You can click on this card there to watch that. Thank you so much for watching.